my friend, you're an NPC. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you're an NPC. I'm sorry. No one cares about nothing. You might, listen, I'm not saying your life don't matter, because it could matter. I'm pretty sure, don't get me wrong, you are loved. Your people love you, even if everybody hates you. I'm sure somewhere, somewhere, some, somewhere in the world, somebody loves you. But as far as history is concerned, as far as I'm concerned, you're an NPC. If you don't know what that is, that is a gamer term. It means that you're, you know, you got in a video game, you have the main character, and then you have a bunch of other characters that are just there, just the, just for the experience. Those are NPCs, non-playable characters. They're just there, they're controlled by the AI. But that really resembles our modern world. My friends, I got attacked. And this is an attack, I mean, it's an attack on me, right. But it's also an attack on freedom, freedom of speech, freedom of, 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 of freedom of expression, freedom of, throw back to a time on YouTube where you could no, I was I used to do action movies before all this, and I got a video where I'm gonna get into that. But life was good. YouTube was nice. You could do action movies. Life was good. No, nope. it wasn't. The world wasn't what it is today. Everything you can't talk about this. You can't mention that. You can't see. As soon as you start getting into like this, freedom of speech is over. I'm sorry to say. And what bothers me is, see. I am not one of these guys that's on YouTube that's homophobic. That I'm going to be like, oh, I can't call her a, 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 a F. Then, oh, freedom. No, I'm not like that. My freedom of speech is not calling a, a, a gay dude the F word. That's not freedom of speech for me. That's not the one that I care about. My, my problem is when I critique the fact that you brought out your country, right? A leader. You, and you, you look like Winnie the Pooh. And apparently, I don't, I'm not even going to say the name of him or the name of the country because I'm not going to mess with my algorithms no more. Because I got attacked. I'm going to tell you what happened. They're bringing out tanks. They're bringing out tanks to the streets when people talk about what's wrong. Listen, let's get right into it. I'm not going to beat around the bushes. I made a video on China. The reason I made a video on China, I'm a rapper turned YouTuber. I cover what? Hip hop topics and technology. The reason it bothered me so much is because I felt the media wasn't doing their job. Why was the media not doing their job? Don't ask me, ask them. Why do we, why do, why do, why do you keep waving in front of my face celebrity distractions and things that don't matter, really just surface level things to me like why you what do i look stupid to you do i look like one of these npcs one two threes i am not i'm a guy who sacrificed a lot and some of my people sacrificed their lives my aunt again i said that in the video that got deleted she sacrificed her life speaking out against evil in this world and she got Silenced. The type of silence you don't speak after. So you best believe to the day I die, I'm going to speak out. I am not no Edward Snowden whistleblower. I don't care about exposing. That's not my job. There's plenty of people who do way better job at it than me. The reason I decided to speak is I felt my community was filled. And I'm sorry to say that. It's filled with NPCs. A lot of you guys that follow me. We might be, what, the hip-hop crowd. You care about wearing a Louis bag. You care about uh, Miri jeans. You care about purple jeans. You care about Givenchy shirt. You care about Kanye West and Kim K. You care about 
uh, Lil Dirk sliding on NBA Youngboy, NBA sliding on Dirk, but you don't care that there's a financial collapse happening in the world, and the fact that they keep all these puppets in front of you, yeah, look at this carrot, it's nice, isn't it? Just keep running here. While the world is on fire, and the media's in on it, they can't talk about it, or they have no incentive to talk about it, or they don't want to get in trouble by talking about it. When you talk about it, you get in trouble. I used to think that was a conspiracy theory. Dude, I made a video on China. I did a video on China telling you a few things. It was an hour, but I'm going to wrap it up in a few seconds just to make my point here. This is what I spoke about. Give me a second. Because I'm thirsty and angry. I'm pissed today. I'm not, I'm not in the greatest mood today. Let's talk about it. Imagine, bro. You see, I got Bitcoin tatted on my face, right? And I don't trust the banking system. They call me cuckoo. They think I'm, 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 I'm. They think I'm, they think I've lost my marbles. But in reality, just make sure I'm still recording here. In reality, you've lost your marbles a long time ago. I don't trust the banks. I never did. I never will, because the banks collab with governments to do very evil things in this world, such as wars, yada yada, and money is the root of all evil. Check this out. China has always been an example of when things, power, and tyranny really goes to extreme length, a dystopian reality, cyberpunk reality length. With social credit, motion, uh, sorry, facial recognition, tracking, and what else, what they got? China, hey, listen, it's not like China's got the social credit to make sure everybody's an upstanding citizen because we're talking about the same people who, who, who incarcerate millions of Muslim minorities to do slave labor, yet you're not allowed to talk about it. No one is talking about it. And when I did talk about stuff that, that happened recently, you know what happened? They attacked my video with bots. It's not a secret my YouTube is monetized. I don't come here and sit here every day for free. I'm sorry, I love telling you guys what's up with the world, but I got bills to pay. Bills don't pay themselves, right? So I, I put in the work, you know, I went and got my hair cut and I invested in the lights and whatnot. And putting the message out, I worked really hard, I researched. And they, they didn't take my video down, but I got attacked. I know I got attacked because I've achieved 7,000 views naturally. Made a little bit of money, my little YouTube money here off of that video. When I check it a week later, I guess the YouTube analytics started to update. The views were gone, they plummeted. Shout out to YouTube for keeping a video up, but I know what happened. This is not new. The CCP attacks people who critique or expose what's going on on YouTube using the bots. They call it the Chinese, um, the Red Bot Army. They have a name for it. But anyway, you tell people that there's minorities, okay, in prison doing slave labor for no crimes, no trials, you're going to get attacked too. I, I'm sorry because I used to think it was a conspiracy theory until it happened to me. So I am sorry for the guys that I told you. I don't believe you. I believe you now. It happened to me. YouTube took my money back. My views plummeted. The video kept saying like monetization not available. I don't know if it was a glitch or what it was. But it was an attack nonetheless. I'm a small YouTuber for the time being. I had to private the video because I've lost a great channel of mine 10 years back when I was doing action movies because I got reported and I couldn't fight back because I was a small YouTuber. I am not prepared to lose now, lose my channel or my hard work, but I'm going to sneakily tell you what's going on because I care about you and I also care about the people in China. Winnie the Pooh, I don't like him, I don't care about him. 
Now, what's happening is not directly his fault. It's not. This is what happened. And this is really, this is when I started to pay attention to what's going on in China. My mind, to say that my mind was blown would be understatement. Understatement. What's happening in China, and the reason the media don't report on it, because they don't want people to even acknowledge. They don't want these NPCs, the sheep, right, to even know that a financial collapse is a thing, that it could happen, that people could one day lose tr trust in the banking system. That's why they hate things like Bitcoin. It goes against everything they want you to do, or you know? So look, China, right? China is divided into many places. I don't know if it's states or provinces, but it's divided up. And every place has their little laws. China is very big, right? Like population. One of the, I think it's the most people in the world, right? So a big portion of these people live in rural, 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 rural areas. You know, disconnected almost. So their banks had to, um, you know, the banks kind of like in these areas, you know, they wanted to get more people or whatever they wanted to do. Long story short, through lobbying and a little bit of corruption, let's be honest, they managed to change regulations enough to for them to recruit people online, right? And they also managed to, I don't think this was part of regulations, but pay attention, listen close. I don't want to lose you. Are you still listening? Make sure you listen because I'm about to... I don't, if you stop paying attention, you're going to find yourself confused. So pay attention to me. Banks started recruiting... Or not recruiting, I'm sorry. Started advertising and getting new customers from people outside of their provinces. From these little small provinces. Alright? There was a few banks... And they both had the same, like they all fell under the same uh, 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 main parent company or corporation or whatever it was. I'm a street dude. I'm trying to tell this to you in a digestible manner, all right? in a street way. Like I just met you down the block and I'm telling you what's going on quickly. So boom, long story short is they started doing, they started really doing very misleading scammy, scummy practices. That includes, right now, in America, in Canada, you go take your money, your hard-earned money. You put it in a bank, right? Your money's protected by the FDIC, or CIDC in Canada, which is, uh, it guarantees, let's say the bank loses your money or whatever happens, because they're supposed to protect your money, am I right? You trust them. So, they protect up to 250K per person. Insured. And protected by the government or the federal, whatever it was. It's protected, right? That's if you put your money in a deposit account. Meaning you give the bank, hey bank, CIBC, here's my money. Hold it for me. In a deposit account. You paying attention. So over there, the place we can't talk about, shh, shh, be quiet. Shh, don't say that. We need the poo is listening. The bankers have pushed to change certain regulations and whatnot for them to be able, they told people, okay, come and join, and here's my bank, come put your money in, it's trusted, we're gonna give you 4% interest, 5% interest, 6% interest, but they weren't putting their money in deposit accounts, they were investing in financial products, kinda like stocks, kinda like uh, 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 cryptos, but it wasn't really, I mean, it's, uh, it was a, it's not something nice as crypto, unfortunately, because it's banned in China, Yes, Bitcoin is banned in China. 
You can eat bats and rats, but you can't own Bitcoin. So, they, they advertised it to the people, though. They didn't tell them, hey, you were, this, these are investments. They just said, come, put your money, 6% interest. They didn't tell them they were investing in financial products. Remember this point. It's very important. So, they were also doing another thing that is really unheard of in the history of, of like, this is wrong what they were doing. The, the investors or the shareholders of the bank should not have access to people's money. The bank, after all, is a form of business. You're supposed to keep this money here and safe. Why do the investors and shareholders have direct access to the money? Well, number one, it's, just, it's not in a vault. They did invest in financial products. But the people, though, they didn't know they were investing in financial products. They thought that they gave the money to the bank to hold it, like a regular deposit account that's protected. Oh, where's your money? Yeah, I put it in XXX Bank. Oh, yeah, 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 they gave me 6% interest. Yeah, beautiful. I trust the banks. I love the banks. Crypto, scary. I don't trust crypto. It's scary. I only trust the banks. Here's how that turned out. Like I said, why do the investors and shareholders have access to the money? A lot of bad things could happen, right? The bad thing, the, I'm sorry, the worst thing happened. One, or more, I don't know, of the investors or shareholders ran off with the bag. He took six billion. Yes, you heard me right. Six billion dollars. And took off. Where? I don't know. Some people say he fled to the United States. Now, you mean to tell me the United States, they can go over to Dubai. And I'm not saying he's a good dude. But they can go over to Dubai and get this African man that's flexing over there, hush puppy. All he's doing is flexing. They want to get him, but they can't go ahead and get, you know, because hush puppy's a scammer. But hush puppy scammed what? He scammed rich, rich people, let's be honest. It's not right. But it's, it, 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 he scammed rich folks. He, he scammed folks who had millions and could afford to lose 100K. However, what China did, six billion, let me tell you what happened in the aftermath. Six billion was taken from people who don't have a, a two yen to their name. You understand me? So picture this scenario. Picture this. I'm gonna put you in the shoes of the Chinese man because the, the more I keep talking, I notice people get lost. People like to listen to me as they go to bed because I'm like sleepy. I'm, I talk to them to sleep. But picture this, brother. Oh, lay. You're a China man in one of these outer provinces. You go into the bank with your debit card. I'm gonna pull out 20 bucks today. Mama needs some shoes. Your daughter needs some food. Something. You need 20 bucks. I'm trying to buy weed. I don't know. You need your money nonetheless. It's your money, right? So you go to pull it out. You get an error. Hmm? Error? What's going on? Insufficient funds. No, bro. I have the funds. I know I have the funds. I'm a hardworking Chinese dude. I put the funds yesterday. Error. You keep trying. Keeps giving errors. That's weird. Go to a different ATM. Remember, it should never be even this hard to get your money, right? But, but keep, pay attention. Different ATM, same issue. That's a little bit off. You check online. Online is, is saying temporary unavailable due to whatever. Man, I'm hungry, dude. I'm trying to eat. I ain't eating in two days. I ain't never. I had my bats and rats. I ran out of bats and rats a week ago. I'm trying to eat, dude. Service uh, uh, fixing. 
F your service fixing. Give me my food, dude. Give me my money, sir. What can you do? Temp system is temporarily unavailable. Please try again later. Okay. Try again later. What are we going to do? We're going to stay hungry. We'll eat bats and rats tomorrow. Tomorrow comes. Same thing. A week goes by. Same thing. You can't pull out cash. Can't access online banking. Brother. I put my money in the bank for a reason. Because we trust them, right? Because, yes, they control your money, unlike Bitcoin. Because we are NPCs. We trust the financial system. Yay! Pay attention. So you're this China man now that's angry and frustrated. But when you look online... And not on a bank site, on just regular social media site. <laughs> Baidu or whatever they have, because they can't go on Facebook and stuff. They got WeChat and certain Chinese versions of it, which is censored, but somehow people find a way to speak the truth. People are saying, hey, bro, me too. What's going on? Sketchy. But you can't go to a branch. Because remember what I said earlier, these banks be in other states, other provinces, but they advertise online, right? It's kind of like if you're in Canada, you ever heard of Simply Bank? I live in Newfoundland, there is no Simply branch. If anything happens with my Simply or Capital One, I can't go to, down to Capital One, there is no branch here. I have to mail or email or call and then they mail a card, which takes two weeks. or It's a hassle. But these guys have had enough, and online calling don't work. So remember, they, ha they haven't accessed their own money in a while. And we're talking about general population that keeps their money in banks. So our buddy here had it. He decides, to, you know what? I'm going to take a trip, bro. I'm going to go down to Beijing or Shanghai or whatever, Toronto of the place where the bank is located. They go, but then they are surprised. They quickly realize they're not the only ones who can't access the money. They are met with very, very, very long lines at the banks. Like you go to Toronto because your Capital One ain't, ain't let you get your money you got 20 bands in Capital One, and you can't access it for like two months now. It's ridiculous. They won't return your calls. They won't let you online. It's like they rob you. And when you try to reset anything, try to access online, they hit you with fraud alerts. Like you're in the wrong. Fraudster, criminal. So you can make your way down to Toronto. You stand out. You, you realize you go to Capital One, but you see a long line of people. Like... Streets, huh? All of you guys can get your money? Yes, we can't get our money. We're stuck for a month now. Every time we ask for our money, they tell us system is down, unavailable. They give them the runaround. Excuses, excuses, excuses. People had enough, bro. I go one day without not accessing my money. I've lost my mind already. I'm picking up I'm, my hair. I'm picking it up. So at this point, people are not having it, bro. They're like, "What's going on? We got to do something. The banks can't just close on us and leave us like this is robbery, highway robbery." So they stand outside and they protest. They want their money, right? CCP. Xi Jinping, Winnie, Winnie the Pooh, where are you? Or are you there only to put people in camps? Huh? You're only there to put people in these brainwashing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Brainwashing? I'm sorry, I meant re education camps. Are you only there for that? Or to give people COVID? Which one is it? Ping, put, put, bring yourself out. It's time for you. You're government, aren't you? You're there for the people? Well, the people need you. You're the communist co community, or what was it? 
communist congregation or of the Chinese Republic of the people. Well, the people need you. Help them. Nope. So you know what the CCP said? <laughs> Get ready. Because if that was me, I would have... You see, in the beginning, I told you to pay attention. These people invested in investment products, but they thought they put it in deposits. That wasn't their fault. It was the bankers taking advantage of the NPC's simple mind. You know when Andrew Tate calls you a simple-minded idiot, you guys are like, he's cocky. He's cocky. He's right. You're a simple-minded idiot. You don't read papers. You trust the banking system. Look how it came out. They invested in investment. I'm sorry. They put their money into investment products. The bankers misled them. They didn't read the papers. They didn't care. It's just the bank. When you put your money in investment products, the FDIC that I mentioned, or CIDC, that protects you in case foul play or whatever happens, the banks, they're not liable to help you. Because if you put your money into Dogecoin like an idiot and Dogecoin doesn't hit the moon, instead it hits the depths of hell and planet Earth, that does, you're not protected by the FDIC. So it was the same thing, except they thought they put their money in deposits because they were misled, misleading practices. On top of that, the money that they put in these quote unquote investment products to get their 6% interest was robbed. Dude took six billy and and who knows if it was dude, it could have been Xi Jinping himself. It could have it could have been France. Because like I said, if Hush Puppy in Dubai gets arrested for fraud and he ain't even hit a hundred mil, he got caught with what? A twenty million. You mean to tell me someone can take six billion and do the race and go to the U.S. No extradition, no nothing? I don't believe it. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. And I made a video on it. I was being calm and collected. I cursed. And I put, I showed the imagery of what's going on. So now they played with my monetization. Well, guess what? No imagery, do your own research. No videos, nothing. Do your own research. But I am going to tell you the point, though. And I am going to bring you the message again. This is, just part, this is me redoing it. That's why I'm mad. They attacked my video. I tried to expose the fact that these people went to the streets to protest. And instead of the CCP coming out there to say, you know what? We're going to try to figure something out. We're going to catch this guy. We're going to help you guys out. Millions of people can't access their own money. For over three to four months. Just in the street. Like we need help. No justice, no peace. What does the CCP do? You want to take a wild guess what they do? Just take a guess. I'll give you guess while I drink this water. Get your, get your guesses ready. What did they do? You ready? They put tanks on the street. Yes, tanks. They sent the military to the street. Yes, the army. Why was the army there? To protect the, old, the older elder lady who can't get her money? Help her. It's okay, lady. It's going to be okay. We're here for you. No! They sent it there to intimidate the people, to beat the people, drag them up the stairs, and down the stairs, up and down, beat them up, boom, rubber bullets, and damn near Tiananmen Square Part 2. If you don't know Tiananmen Square, I explained it last video, I'm not in the mood to explain it again. It was a massacre. And you're not allowed to talk about it in China. That's a fact. 
This is not 20 years ago what I'm talking about. Tiananmen, yes. But what I'm talking about is happening as we speak. Today, there's people still out there. They're still in the street. There's still tanks walking around. All of this is one thing. All of this. Financial collapse. Because listen, once people lose trust in the banks, it's over. Things go downhill from there. And they did. If you want more, I recommend Business Basics. Great channel. To show you where it went downhill and details on what I said. But here's the thing. All of this is one thing. And what I'm about to tell you is a whole other thing. All of this is one thing. The thing that really did it for me. And I just feel, I feel, I'm sorry guys. I feel so defeated. I feel so mentally exhausted. I'm just tired because this, this fact right here, it really hit home for me because I was looking stupid and crazy when I was saying things like this. That these barcodes, you know the COVID, the COVID barcodes? <laughs> they use them to keep the protesters. Oh my God. I told you guys that these, they're trying to take away your freedoms of ri and rights. And I sounded stupid. Oh, you're crazy. You're cuckoo. Conspiracy theory. Your right to gather. Why do they want to take that away from you? Why? Did you ever ask yourself that question? Every protest, every revolution. Anytime something's wrong, we gather and we speak out against it. During the pandemic, people gathered and, and, and remember the Black Lives Matter, George Floyd? That was mid-pandemic. People really proved the point there that the right to gather is really important and needed. So when they put things like barcodes and checkpoints, see, any tyrant place in the world, they have checkpoints and barcodes and stuff. The COVID barcodes were used so you have green, red, and yellow for high risk to get COVID or sick with COVID, right? Lo and behold, everything I was saying, it's like I was, it's like I, it's almost like I seen the future. The people in the protests and the people that were associated to this bank that caused the protest their Kobe started saying red. Their barcode started saying red. So when they're traveling to the city to see, where's my money? My hard earned money, where is it? You can't travel, sir, I'm sorry. Red, red barcode. It's not a conspiracy theory, this actually happened. Look it up. Everything we've been warning you about. Oh my God, bro. I feel so defeated reporting on this. I just feel defeated when I talk about this. What makes it feel more defeated is people don't care. People are NPCs, bro. I'm done covering this topic because like I said, I'm not a whistleblower. I'm not, that's not my job. I just wanted to bring light to it in my community because people apparently like it when I cover stuff, they find me funny. But this is not funny. If you laugh, I'm glad, but there's nothing funny about this situation. The Chinese people need our help. Even if it's just mentally just supporting them. And day by day, the whole world comes to understand why we need things like Bitcoin. 
These guys are still on the street. They still haven't recovered their money. As far as the media is concerned, they're not going to tell you about it. They'd rather tell you about Kim K and Kanye. Not the financial collapse. Doesn't even sound pleasant or interesting for the most sheeple, the NPCs, right? This whole situation was alarming for me. As I said before, there's people on YouTube doing way better videos, explained way better than I am right now, on this topic. And they're willing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Winnie the Pooh. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm just telling it to you as a brother. After I did one video on them, the attack was so brutal that I got paranoid. You guys trust the government so much, you're like, ha ha, funny, they messed with my video, it's over, ha ha ha. I'm a guy who lost his auntie because she was a freedom writer. A writer, she wasn't a fighter, she wrote papers, and they killed her. I'm sorry, they killed her message, I'm sorry YouTube. They silenced her. So I know how far these governments are willing to go to play. I'm a black guy in this world, I know what I am. I know how people view me, dog. So I'm going to let the business basics, you know, he's a white dude, shout out to him. He's doing a good job. But he got what it takes to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Winnie the Pooh. I don't. I deleted TikTok. Because I was so paranoid. Because I was thinking to myself, TikTok got access to everything, right? CCP got access to everything. Somewhere in a Chinese government office right now. It's two Chinese people passing around a picture of a black guy with Bitcoin on his face. Like, I don't want to be that. I'm done. Okay. I'm here to do. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to be gone too soon, man. I got a lot of life to live. A lot of other things I need to fight for besides what's happening. As far as you know, you just learned about Tiananmen Square. You just learned about the financial, or the start of the financial collapse in China. Keep in mind, everything that's going on there will affect you. This is the world's second biggest economy. Everything in your house right now, or most of it, I can pick anything. This cyberpunk tear, cyberpunk made by Secret Lab, right? American company. I'm just picking out random. I didn't even plan this. I bet you will say made in China. How much you wanna bet? Most likely made in China. Most likely made in China. This microphone, Neumann U87, a German company. But if we really dig down deep, made in China, the material. This, this chaotic on top of the mic, there's lights. Remote, TV remote. I'm gonna find something here. Everything made in China. So I'm telling you, everything that's going on there affects you, whether you realize it or not. And these social credits and all this, it sounds funny when it's happening there. Not my problem. You know how China became, it's trying to be number one? It's not using guns. It's using economic coercion. If I'm the only guy that feeds you, you're not listening to me? I'm going to stop feeding you. I'm going to cut your water off. Bro, please, I'll listen to you. I'll do anything. And that's what they're doing. Pay attention. Stop looking at Kanye and Kim and, 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 and wake up. Stop following the media and follow yourself. Use your head. Always use your head. When they take away your freedoms or start to take them away, don't be an NPC. Stand up. When you don't stand up, as far as history is concerned, you're an NPC. Because we're all going to be gone one day. But make sure you, you live for something. My auntie was a hero. A hero! She's gone, but she's never forgotten. I'm going to make sure of that.
Satoshi Nakamoto is a hero. You don't know him, but he sacrificed himself to bring you a gift that you ungrateful and didn't appreciate, but now you see what's going on in the world? Now you, now you understand why it matters. So okay, shout out to Satoshi. I got, I got other videos to do, so I'm just gonna wrap this up, all right? They attack me, they're attacking Business Basics, they're attacking others, other YouTubers. Please help me fight back, hit the like button, comment for the algorithm, even if you say nothing, just comment, okay? I'll see you guys in the next one. It's your boy, okay? I'm out of here. One last thing. If you want me to say your name in the beginning of my video, donate. Hit the, I'm sorry, not donate. Super thanks. There's a thanks button. Click it. Send any amount. I say your name. Send $10 and you can get a custom shout out. And yeah, make sure you DM me because I don't get the uh, notifications. Instagram, aka the brief. I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next one.